All right, welcome back to another epic video from Bondo Harvest. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to pull apart and butterfly chicken. So it's gonna be a whole chook. I'm gonna pull it into its pieces, its legs, its wings, its breast. Uh, I'm gonna show you what to do with it all. Um, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be educational and you're gonna love it. <laughs> When working with chickens, birds, game, always wash your hands beforehand. So super clean hands to start. Um, super clean chopping board, clean knife. Um, you know, you don't want to make anyone sick. So the cleaner you work, the longer it's going to last, the better it's going to be for your family. So look, the, the reason I'm showing you how to pull apart a chicken and why you should always buy whole chickens is you get more for your money. You know, you can use your breast, you get your legs, you get your wings, and then you can use your carcass for a chicken stock. So when you get a whole chook, nothing should be thrown away. Always buy free range, always buy uh, organic chooks, um, it makes a big difference, it tastes better, it's better for you. Um, so let's get pulling this little puppy apart. Alright, so first step is we're going to take our legs off. So literally just a bit of pressure between the breast and the leg, there's a little skin there. Just sort of lightly run your knife and it'll just fall apart. And then you can see the sort of sinew through here and it just literally just follow it. Just use the end of your knife and just pull it apart. Just pull it all the way through. It's really easy. And once you've done it once, you know, you can do it a million times with, and, and the majority of birds are exactly the same. So from here you've sort of separated a bit, and you can see the sort of ball joint knuckle. You just pop that out. Super easy. Your knife, back on the board, just go straight down. It's exactly the same with the other side. You know, just follow the spots, pull it apart. Again, just a bit of pressure, just pop. Burn out of its socket like that. Just cut straight down and cut it out. So, there's two legs, sorted. That will be the drumstick. That is a Maryland. Next step, we're gonna take our wings off. Again, there's another knuckle in there, another little ball joint. So you just wanna find it. You can even find it with your finger. Just grab your knife. Just pop it out and cut it through. Second one. Second wing. So you got two legs, two wings, and then we'll do our breasts. Nice, strong movement straight down the bone. Let's go straight down. Okay, from there you can feel it. You just run your knife and just follow that bone across there, all the way down. Take your time, there's no hurry. There's no angry chef yelling at you. <laughs> so just all the way down to the chopping board. Like I said, nice precise movements around your uh, wishbone. That's your breast. And then from that breast, so that's your breast there, that's your skin side. I'll do a slower. Ready? Just keep it down there. Yep. So that's your breast. Yep. That's your skin side. And then from your breast, you've got the fillet here. So that's the fillet. You can leave it on or you can take it off. I just thought I'd show you the parts of the chook. So that's your chicken fillet, chicken breast. The second breast, same story, straight down the bone, just follow it, slice it down. And use your knife, follow it. You have to remember a sharp knife is always safer for this reason. You know, especially when you're working with meats like this, a sharp knife is so much safer. You know, you're putting less pressure on cutting, you know, you're you're focusing on making a movement opposed to, you know, putting pressure on your meat. So you're making more precise movements, which means, you know, there's less chance that you're gonna slip and cut yourself. Um, and definitely don't throw away, you know, your carcass, because we're gonna make a chicken stock out of that, and I'll teach you how to do that next time. Um, Super easy, and like I said, we're using everything. We're losing the whole chook. I mean, if you are serving your family or yourself, you know, good quality chicken, and you get whole chooks, you can use the bones, and you're saving money, and you're making awesome, awesome food, so. Makes sense. It makes so much sense, you're right, it does make sense. <laughs> 